hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this tutorial video we will see how we can install lombok or project lombok in our mac os okay so in windows it's quite simple and a you know easier task to you know either download the lombok jar or you know map the file url path on the eclipse.inl file but in mac os it's quite you know complicated because of the fact that it's nowhere to be found on the internet or youtube so for developer it's quite complicated to you know uh, map the lombok on their eclipse in mac os so i'll show you how we can do so so basically lombok is an you know annotation based java library that allows us to reduce the boilerplate code so by boilerplate code what i mean is suppose i have to create a dtu or i have to create a dview so in that while writing instance variables or data fields I also have to write the setter and getters or pet parameterized constructor or default constructor. So with that, suppose I'm writing again and again those boilerplate code in n number of DTU classes. So with Lombok, we can reduce those boilerplate code by using the Lombok annotation. So Lombok offers various annotations aimed at replacing those Java code that is well known for being boilerplate repetitive or tedious to write so using lombok we can remove this and we'll see how we can install lombok and configure the same in our mac os okay so i'll show you first which mac os i'm using so i'm using macbook Pro. so let's start so i'll be opening my web browser first and i'll be directly going to mvn repository and one way is to basically just search for lombok and just download this project lombok jar and okay so i'll be downloading the latest version click on this jar and it will be downloaded in a second the one way is this and second way is we can directly go to project lombok website official website let me type complete letter and here we can go to the download menu item option and we can download from its official website so i'll be providing you both the url so that you don't have to go and search the same okay and i have already installed the eclipse on my mac operating system if you haven't done so and if you wanted to done so so i'll also uh, tag the url i have already created a video on how to install eclipse or spring tool suit so the process of installing the lombok in mac operating system for eclipse and spring tool suit is same so i'll be showing for eclipse only uh, it's up to you you wanted to you know do with eclipse or spring tool suit okay fine so i have downloaded the same and i'll i can see in my download folders i have lombok.char and lombok downloaded from mvn repository a specific version now i'll be opening my terminal okay and i'll be going to downloads folder so uh, i have already shown you that i have installed the eclipse and you can also do so so in the application folders we have eclipse application installed and we just need to go to this show package contents and contents and we can see eclipses right there okay now i'll be going back to my terminal and i'll be writing one command java space jar lombok dot jar and it will just open a prompt uh, for lombok to open that application okay so my lombok application has been opened and now what needs to be done here is okay so it has automatically you know searched on my mac operating system that i have an application eclipse or be it like my application is open that's why it you know automatically updated the location here so i'll be installing for eclipse only and if you don't have you know eclipse or spring tool suit coming up here you can just specify the location by going to the same applications uh, i have spring tool suit also so let me show that spring tool suit contents and inside this eclipse and spring tool suit for dot ini okay so we can map this file and using this we can do so so in this way you can install for sts or eclipse by selecting that dot ini file so i'm going to just install for eclipse as of now
okay so there is a problem here because of the privacy and security uh, that is you know preventing from modifying any application or or mac so what i do is i'll just uh, click on okay i'll quit this and i'll rerun the application i sorry i rerun the command using sudo so sudo java space hyphen jar and lombok.jar so i'll be specifying the location so these are basically for the user who have not you know uh config the same okay so i'm just going to my applications and i'm going to specify a spring tool suit inside contents inside eclipse spring tool suit dot inl 5v to select if it's going to be eclipse the process is same it's just i have selected the spring tool suit for application name instead of this you need to select the eclipse here okay so i'm going to open and I'm going to select this only and I'm going to install okay so install has been successful now we just need to quit this installer and restart our spring tool suit okay so we have successfully installed I'm going to quit the installer and just restart my spring tool or just start the spring tool suit for do you just need to restart it okay so one more thing that needs to be remembered is I know this lombok while installing doesn't make or add dependency in your projects okay so we need to add those dependency but the fact is that you have already downloaded the jar file so each and every time you don't have to download it you just need to reference that dependency okay so uh, let me just show you so i have a, a maven based project here uh, i'm just going to go to form.xml and i'm just going to add a dependency here i know the dependency so i'm just going to copy paste it okay and i'm just going to update the project and inside my jar sorry inside my java project i'm just going to create a dq or dq and I'm just going to write to instance variable employee id private string emp name. Okay, and I I'm not going to write here getter and setters. Okay, I'm just going to write these annotations and through this we can you know access getter and setter. So I'm also going to show you uh, just writing up here string emp id employee okay it's not static so i just need to annotate or just create an object here okay it's employee dq i have created and i'm just going to okay i need to also initialize a constructor up there to you know get those values so using at the data annotation we can do so and, and i'm basically using command shift o command command to automatically you know insert those import statements i can also do so by you know going and hovering through the annotation and just import those statements so it's just a quick process okay and now inside my controller i'm just going to get its value emp object dot emp id okay so basically using this we can you know use the lombok but we need to you know explicitly add okay i'm just you can just again copy this yeah, but we need to you know explicitly add this annotation here and i have added it, the scope as provided okay because i have already provided through my plugin okay and you can also verify the same whether or not your lombok has installed or not by going through spring tool suit menu about spring tool suit and inside this at the end we have lombok installed okay so this is one way what i have shown you the another way is you can just directly go to the help install new software and you can just directly copy paste the lombok url 
so the url that you need to copy is you can pick up from here install and i need to install for eclipse or suppose spring tool suit okay and it's showing me like i just need to go to and and this time just copying this url org and it's pp okay okay and you can see we can also install through this extension uh, we can also through this url okay uh, another way is uh, suppose let me just open inside eclipse and what i can do is inside java demo i'm just uh, going to the properties and java build path and module path i'm just going to add an external jar here so suppose from the downloads i'm just going to you know add this long walk up here and you can see we can you know add as a reference library okay apply and close and suppose inside my first class if i'm going to you know just define in id and i just need to define getter so in this way also you know we can add this. so that's it for today in this these ways we can add lombok in our project if you have any doubt or any query or questions regarding Lombok installation in Mac OS or Windows, do comment and I'll be happy to help. So that's it for today. Thank you.